it's ace here today i'm going to show you guys how to completely clear out your media and disk cache folders yeah you heard me right completely clear it out because um i was doing some research on my own drive and realized that my c drive here um was starting to get full um recently i had only like 40 gigs free and i learned something kind of inter interesting so i'll show you guys what i mean and um I think we're gonna start this off by going to Adobe's own help page because I was reading about how um, After Effects imports media and you can read this here about how whenever you import footage into After Effects, that footage is saved in another folder. So what's happening is, is you have two copies of every single piece of footage that you've ever used in any project. So um yeah i'm gonna show you guys where that's at and where you can find it and get rid of it and you're not gonna lose your project files i promise you my friends have done it i have not done it yet because i'm gonna show you how much space i'm going to free up so at first i was like okay no big deal i'll just go and go into after effects preferences i'll show you how to get there for those of you guys that are new um you go to edit preferences and then media and disk cache um so you can click this button right here and empty your disk cache I got 69 gigs of it right now. I'm going to clear that out. And media cache, you can go to this button right here and clean out your media cache, which is all the um, footage that it's duplicated in the past. Okay, so now you might be thinking, well, that was easy. All you do is click a button and it erases it all, right? Wrong. If you go back to Adobe's help page and scroll down to the bottom here, they note that cleaning the um, disk cache, the media cache, excuse me, with the button in After Effects does not actually clear everything on your C drive. So I'm going to go in today and show you how to clear everything out correctly because Adobe does not have a method to do this, unfortunately. But don't worry, all you have to do is type in CFA and all your CFA files will come up in the search. Um, so you just type that in and wait for them all to be found all right so it looks like that search is complete and look at all this all of these are clips that i've used in the past and they've been sitting on my drive look at the date november 2017 every single piece of footage i've ever used with adobe cc 17 has been saved in this area so all you have to do is i'm gonna scroll down to the bottom um i'm gonna start I'm going to start here and then scroll all the way to the top. Hold shift, click and delete. Do you want to permanently delete? Yes. Okay. Now those files are gone. Now let's check my C drive again and see if there's any change. All right, we just freed up 100 gigs on my drive that easily. Okay, so the next file type is called PEK. So we do the same thing, PEK, and wait for those to be found. Okay, so now all those files are found. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go to the top, select that one, scroll all the way down. Yep, and get rid of all these. Shift click, delete. All right, let's go take a look. And uh, that didn't get rid of much, but at least now I know that all my um, all my files have been cleaned out correctly, and I can move on with my life knowing that <laughs> I don't have a bunch of space that's being used for absolutely nothing. So the last thing I was going to recommend you guys doing is go into your C drive and run this command. Type in S I Z E for size, and then colon. And then click this this right here, it says gigantic, and it'll search for all files that are larger than 128 megs. And you can look at your drive and see everything that's big and stuff that you're not using anymore that you can delete. So um, I'm not gonna do this on screen, that'll take me forever to go through it all, but you guys can do that. And hopefully you don't have to waste your money buying new drives over and over, thinking that you're running out of space when it's just files that are, you aren't using anymore. Um, so the last thing I was going to show you was this, um, command that a user found, well, not found, he created, um, I'll put the link down in the description to this, but basically 
you can set up a start com startup command that will restrict After Effects from um, from saving any more than 100 files. So like all those CFA files that we saw, it won't save more than 100 of those. It'll just start deleting them automatically. So um, that's pretty much all I have for this for this little tip, I guess you would say. Um, hopefully it saves you guys time.